You're not supposed to be in here. Okay, fine. Do you want to play? Do you want a toy? Do you want a corn cob? Okay. What about the cactus? No, corn cob. Okay. What about pineapple? No, corn is love. Okay, what about creepy rope man? Yeah, you know you love creepy rope man. I don't know what it is about this rope toy, but it's his favorite toy in the entire world now, and we can't get rid of it. Ken! <gasps> Where'd he go? Go get it. Go get it, come on. <laughs> All right, let's get this video moving. here and today we are doing happy numbers update number three so if you are just hooking on with us now make sure that you guys stop pause the video and head back to our happy numbers playlist and you can check out update number one and update number two so that you're caught up and you're on the same page as us so if you didn't already know happy numbers is an online math curriculum that is super easy to use in your classroom I have been using it in my classroom for the past six months and Honestly, it is a game changer. So the great thing about Happy Numbers is that it is so easy to incorporate into your day. I literally have the kids hop on a few times a week, maybe for 10 minutes, and they're easily able to meet their goal of 45 minutes per week. That's the goal that Happy Numbers suggests so that students can make proper growth. So the one thing that I, I honestly didn't even realize until we took our mid-year district assessment was how much of a difference Happy Numbers was going to make within my classroom and within my math curriculum in general. We also have like a district assessment that we use and we take that three times a year. So in between those assessments, you're kind of like, you know, continuing using your formative assessment within your classroom and using um, different summative assessments to kind of gauge where your students are. But the winter assessment that we took, my, I was, my mind was blown. Like, I was shocked. I was shooketh. Is that a word? Shooketh? I'm making it a word. Shooketh. I was shooketh because my student scores jumped. And I'm not just talking like one point or two points. I'm talking like multiple kids jumping like seven to 15 points. I'm not exaggerating here. Like that was my real data. I even texted my principal and was like sending messages back and forth with like gifts of like us celebrating because <laughs> I was so excited. And I honestly think that Happy Numbers was a major contributor in those scores. That district assessment for the winter was honestly the chef's kiss, like the icing on top of the cake the I'm going to use happy numbers every year, the I don't need to look for anything else, this is what I'm gonna use because it works. So um, that was just a major like celebration, a major victory, especially with these past two years being so crazy with everyone dealing with learning gaps from the pandemic and all of that. And just having my students get onto happy numbers and go for go through their learning path, work on different tasks, and reach new goals, it's it's seriously taken such a burden off of my shoulders of trying to fill all of the gaps all of the time. So that's one thing that I think is amazing and I really have to thank Happy Numbers for um, those awesome test scores. Another thing to think about is on top of just district assessments, we all know what's coming in a few months and I hate to say it, but testing season is upon us and I know I'm not the only one that's gonna sit here and say, I hate standardized testing, but it's, it's a reality of our job. We have to do it. And until they take it away, I have to prepare my students as best I can. And if Happy Numbers is already helping them to fill in those learning gaps and work at their own pace and differentiate math instruction for them and helping them on my district assessments, I'm really kind of excited to see how they do on the state assessment. So if you're someone who is kind of like wondering what can I do to get my kids ready 
What can I do for the, just that extra push so that they are, you know, making gains before testing comes upon us? I seriously suggest trying Happy Numbers. Even if you haven't started it yet this year, it's still free to try. So you can click the link down in my description box and give it a try. Have your students hop on there for a few minutes a week. And I mean, even just doing that from this point until testing season, they're going to make some progress. So, you know, later is better than never in my book. Okay, another thing that I noticed this time around when I was working with Happy Numbers with my students, as I was looking at um, my populated uh, report sheet, so like once you've had your students added into your class, you set up your roster, you have them do their baseline assessment and it kind of puts them into um, categories of where they are in terms of grade level skill, um, as they're working on tasks, it will show you if there are specific students that are struggling. So I didn't notice this before because my kids were doing okay. And then I had a little, it's like an orange little warning triangle pop up next to their name. And I was like, what is that? Like, did they do something wrong? And I clicked on it and you can actually expand next to their name. There's a little arrow, you click that to expand and it will show you what tasks they were working on what their accuracy was and um, whether or not they're struggling on it. So I clicked on one and it told me that um, my student was struggling with a third grade skill. Again, I teach fifth grade, but hello, pandemic. So we know that they're still working on third grade skills. It's been two years since they had one single normal year of school. So um, she was working on a third grade skill and it was rounding to the nearest 10 and the nearest 100 and she had a 55% accuracy rate on that skill. So in my mind as a teacher, that automatically tells me, hey, I should stop what I'm doing with this student in our math intervention groups and pull her aside and maybe work on that skill one-on-one -on -one with her. and. If I wouldn't have had happy numbers to tell me that she was struggling on that skill specifically, I wouldn't have known to go all the way back to that third grade skill. I would have, you know, maybe stuck with rounding in a fifth grade um, facet, which would have been rounding to the nearest tenth or hundredth. So happy numbers really helps to spell out exactly what in interventions are needed and what our top priority right now. So I, I really think that Happy Numbers is, is gonna help me with my small group intervention. And I don't know about other school districts, but with the curriculum that we use, we have math workplaces um, built in where they have centers. Within those centers, one of the centers is work with teacher. So I will either sometimes make it like an open category where I'll say anyone who wants to have some practice problems with whatever skill we were working on that day, you guys can come over to work with teacher and I'll give you practice problems. Or some days if I know that a student is specifically struggling, then I will actually call over a specific group and work on a skill that I know that this group needs. What I love about happy numbers is after you have populated your student roster, after they've taken their placement assessment and it tells you what skills and what level they're ready for, they're, they're kind of grouped by grade level. So I have currently in my classroom, my fifth grade classroom with 17 students, I currently have students working at a second grade, third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade level. That's a variety. So that's not going to be tackled all in one whole group math lesson, but I sure as heck can go onto their Happy Numbers profile, their little um, drop down, and see what skills they're working on and target math groups with those skills. So I can take that the group of three students that's working at a second grade level or on a few second grade skills that they might be missing, and I can use that for my math intervention. I can actually make small group intervention based on basically plans that Happy Numbers has made for me. And what's really cool is that Happy Numbers has a curriculum tab and you can click on the curriculum tab and it has your um, different grade levels and they're all set up by modules. So for example, maybe I have my, my group that's working at a fifth grade level. I can click on fifth grade module one and then the first task 
or activity that it has listed there is like rounding with um, decimals and fractions or something like that and it has like a specific skill that they're working on so for example it was like dividing by tens hundreds and thousands so it's literally taken the guesswork and the planning out of small group intervention and now it has grouped my students for me and it has specifically told me what skill I should work on with them. Like, I know we're all like scraping together time right now to get lesson plans together, to get, I don't know, virtual plans if you're still virtual. What better way to implement differentiation and math intervention than using happy numbers and letting it do the planning for you? Just let that sink in for a second there. One last thing you have to plan. You just have to click on the tab and look at what your skill is that your student is working on. It's amazing. So with all that said, I am super excited because I'm actually going to have my students complete their mid-year assessment on happy numbers within the next week. So if you think that happy numbers is something that might be good to work with your kiddos on, which I know it will because I've been trying it and it's amazing, then go down to my description box and click the link and try it now for free. And I know we like that word free because we're teachers and we like free stuff. So try it for free. And if you like it, drop some comments, let me know. I wanna hear all that you have to say about it. And I will be back with a fourth update sometime in the spring. So keep an eye peeled for that. And while you're down in that description box, make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel. Become a member of the Wooly Fam because we love to have you here. And I will see you guys in the next one. Oh wait, this video has to be... Teddy, come here, bud. He almost made it, he's on the floor. Come on. Yay! What are you doing? It's Teddy approved, right? Is it Teddy approved? Is Teddy approved? He wants to snuggle now, okay? I'll see you later, guys. Bye.